Core value number four, and our final one is love. We are here to love on people and show them the love of God in everything that we do. We aspire uh, in our services, in our ministry meetings and teams and everything that happens at Life Church X to build a very warm and welcoming environment. We kind of have a saying around here where there are no strangers. We want everyone to feel welcome and that they can feel safe and that this is an environment where no one is judging them or looking at them differently, that we are here to love on other people and show them the love that God so freely has given to us. I always think about the fact that every person I meet and encounter has a story, and their story is interesting. If I will take the time to get to know them, ask questions, love causes us to be genuinely interested in the things that are important to other people. This kind of love that Jesus tells us to give, he says, love others as I have loved you, that love is unconditional. Listen, the scriptures tell us that it's easy to love people who love you back. It's challenging to love people who don't always treat you in a desirable way. But thankfully, Jesus did not love us with conditions or strings attached. And frankly, that's how he's asking us to love other people. That kind of love will go a long way in paving the way for relationships and influence, for us to make an impact in the lives of other people, and for them to know the genuine and authentic love of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us in the book of Corinthians that love never fails. Man, keep that in mind in everything that you do. If you lead with love, if your heart is to love people and to serve them and to just show them the love that God is giving to you, then you can't fail. Things may not always work out the way that you would like them to. The outcome may not be the way that you've scripted it. But you can rest assured and trust in the promise of God that when we operate in love, God will bless it. There will not be failure in our efforts, in our labor for Him, when love is our driving factor. Now close with this. Jesus says, freely you have received, now freely give. It is the greatest news and the greatest thing that we can ever recognize is that Jesus has loved us unconditionally so much that he was willing to die for us so that we could be saved. He's asking us to love other people that way, sacrificially, to the point that it might hurt sometimes. Let me say it like this, to the point that your life and my life might be interrupted and inconvenienced and oftentimes in order for us to love people and extend our love to people the way that God is asking us to. That's an important thing to recognize. A lot of people can love when it's convenient, but the love of God loves when it's the most inconvenient and doesn't compromise itself. We've discussed our core values of passion, humility, integrity, and love. I hope you can appreciate that we've taken the time to go through these core values with you in such a way that we put a great priority on them and ask all who are serving and involved in representing Life Church X in our community to adhere to these core values and to be a part of helping us cultivate them in everything that we do. It is incredibly important that we have alignment around these major things of passion, humility, integrity, and love. And as we do, the beautiful thing is we can align together around these values, how we treat one another and interact with one another, God blessing our efforts, and we will be unified as a church in everything that we do. So as you take the next steps in getting connected and getting involved, I want to ask you, I want to charge you with helping us 
to make sure that we are protecting this culture and that we are embodying these values in everything it is that we go about the work of doing. May you be blessed in all things that you do. May God protect you and watch over you and your household. Let's hook up and lock arms and let's build the body of Christ together. God bless you and thank you for watching.